I'm a little stressed. Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Better than your favorite bad bitch. Turned the whole world into a savage middle. Finging all of my bitches just to remind y'all I ain't having it. So I just drove back to IU. And one, being here is a little stressful because it's freezing outside. And that's not making me feel better about coming back. Knowing that I have to walk around in this cold weather in five days. But I have a lot of productive things to do because school starts in five days. I have a lot going on. So like I just decided to just turn the camera on because one, I cannot wait to film. Very excited. Actually, um, it's a new year. Um, 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, yeah happy new year i had to come back because i'm an ra i don't talk about that enough on this channel but i'm an ra and um we had to come back for like training for the spring semester blibbity blibbity blah which already got canceled for today but i'm here so we're just gonna make the best of it i have training tomorrow and friday today's wednesday by the way there's so much stuff in this car right now like i feel like my whole life is in here like i bought so much stuff over break and it's just here. I'm so excited to be back. I miss my room. I can't wait to go like back. I just do not feel like carrying all this stuff. Look at my hair though. It's a lot going on. I feel like I'm a pineapple. I mean, a pi not a pineapple. I feel like I'm a palm tree. What y'all think? I feel like I'm giving palm tree vibes. That's okay though. I'm about to just drive over. I'm, I'm not far from my dorm. I just pull over here to talk because I was a little bit overwhelmed. When I got here and found out that the training was gonna be, it was canceled. So now I'm just like, I got more time than I thought. Yeah, I'm gonna get my life together real quick and then get this stuff out of the car, I'll put it in the dorm. Then we're gonna see where we go from there. I just got back, I went to Dollar Tree. And y'all know how they said that the prices was gonna go up. Well, I didn't think they meant every like the whole Dollar Tree wasn't gonna be a dollar no more. That's what happened. Everything in there is a dollar twenty five, which is still fine because they had they have some really good stuff. But the fact that it's not Dollar Tree no more, there's nothing. Everything's not a dollar. Nothing's a dollar actually. And I was taken aback. I'm happy I'm back at Bloomington because I love Dragon Express. I'm very picky with the Chinese food that I eat. Not that picky, but I don't eat a lot of it. Like, I don't eat everything they have on the menu. I literally get a shrimp roll, plain fried rice, and a half pint of the general TSO, so, general so, general toso, whatever it's called, sauce. Because I just put that on the rice with the soy sauce. I'm very much plain. I don't really know what this video is turning into because I have a lot to do. And I'm not sure if I want to bring y'all along or, you know, like, I don't really know. I don't really know what the vibes are right now. Like, I kind of want to show y'all everything, but I kind of don't. But I only don't because this is supposed to be a, you know, it's still productive. But, you know what, I think I'm going to film it. Because... I like lifestyle content and sometimes even the youtubers I watch will have like a title you know for the main event of the video like the main purpose of the video but they'll still film a whole get ready with me do a whole mukbang vlog then get get to the part of the sit down video that they're supposed to be getting to so you know what that's okay Cause I watch it, so maybe you will, maybe you'll like it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I went to Dollar Tree and I just got a lot of random stuff. Like, I'm gonna give y'all a haul because after I went to Dollar Tree and got my food, I went to the office because I had five packages. Y'all, I told y'all I already ordered a lot of stuff to my actual house at home. That was already there, but to come back here and have five packages downstairs, oh. Okay. My like, girl, what is you doing? Yeah. I'm ready to conquer the day. Anyways, 
yeah, a haul is coming. And so stay tuned for that because I'm about to get into that right after I get into this. Okay? Talk to y'all in a little bit. We got the scissors out. Y'all know what time it is. I'm just about to show you because what? Really? This is the floor and everything is jam-packed. First package, I bought my first pair of Vapor Maxes. I got the white ones. Well, not necessarily white, but. And then there's shoes in here that I haven't opened yet, so I don't even know if I can fit them. Nothing. So y'all, why went, um, well, mama saw my, my nose piercing. First of all, she didn't notice for, I don't know how long. I was at home for like four days and she didn't notice. And then one day she was like, is that real? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, uh-uh, that, uh -uh, that better be a magnet or something. Why ain't that a magnet? At this big age, at this big age, you think I'm walking around with a magnet? Nothing's wrong with it if you do. But at, at this big age, you thought for my 20th, I just decided to just put a magnet in and call it a day. Absolutely not. So that was hilarious to me. But um, more Nikes. I usually don't wear orange. Like, I don't really own anything orange. So these was me stepping out of my cover zone. I also never see nobody wear these so that's another thing they're cute so yeah these are all from finish line they had a sale on crocs actually and that's why i went to the website because i could not believe that that was a real sale so i went and i ended up buying shoes and only one pair of crocs oh these are different very comfy very much i feel like uh i need to wear these to work out these look you fire. First workout. 2022 me? 2022 me? Yeah. Anyways, so here are my Crocs. I've already worn them because I love Crocs, wear them like every day. Got them in blue. These are my first pair of fuzzy ones and love them. I've always like not bought the fuzzy ones for some reason, but these are so comfy. Like I can't even explain definitely copy some fuzzy ones if you don't if you don't got none i also got this nike hoodie to go with those orange shoes that i showed y'all look at it complimenting huh yeah now i got something to say don't fight me because i know how i like to tussle but airpostle had a sale and truthfully i usually only go to airpostle for their jeans and their really their jeans that's really it but they had a sale on sweatpants not on sweatpants but you know they always have like the whole store 50% off or something i don't know and their sweatpants are really comfortable so i don't care if it says arrow on the side if they're comfortable i'm wearing them i'm buying them and i'm wearing them i don't care what's on the side of it okay y'all should be buying stuff for a brand and i'm not i don't care but anyways before the sweatpants i got this pink sherpa ah! y'all know i love it anything sherpa come on somebody the next thing is um probably about the body works because they sent me three separate boxes i did not get that much stuff but for some reason y'all wanted to do that it literally sounds like one thing is in this box so what are we really doing one thing really they only had this in stock i was gonna get the big one but they didn't have it and they had this on sale so i just got it just so i could have something something's better than nothing right oh oh love it recommend it get it next thing mm -hmm. hmm you can't wear this every day this is not an everyday scent recommend but only in november and december months because right now it's too much this one's actually heavier so it kind of makes sense so i ordered candles and all type of stuff and i was just trying to figure out where that's at First things first. So yeah, this is the white one. Like the most basic one they got, classic one. Mahogany teakwood. Ooh, this smells like boys. Now, then this is eucalyptus mint. This has to smell good. And I love the eucalyptus. That's all I ever put in my um, diffusers. This one is eucalyptus and tea. So then I got two candles and that's what's in here single wick ones because i just like a little small one. so the first one mahogany teakwood i'm gonna have some vibes going on in this room 
Yes. Tell me you love it here without telling me you love it here. To who room not about to be smelling like something you can never forget. This is a cute little thing we have going on up here. Okay, if I gotta tell you about Shop Miss A one more time, I don't know what to tell you, basically, where I get all my stuff from. There's a lot of makeup in here because this is who I want to become in 2022. A makeup person. So, y'all know I get my lashes from here, but I want to try new ones. Why is it dented? Not you got beat up. 1665 Sydney. I usually get um Isla or something, her name is. Isla 1649. But there's obviously a difference and I like the more dramatic ones. So like I like this, but these are like more of an everyday. And then I used my last dramatic ones, I think. Yeah, these are all Isla. But y'all remember, because I put it in this video, not this video, but I put it in a video before. Lash applicator. It's pink. Had to buy it. It was pink. This is foundation. I don't even know if this is my color or not. I was just trying to buy stuff because I just want to do a little something when I want to. You know, like just something to get me started. It's always going crazy because this is eyeshadow. And y'all know I don't even wear eyeshadow. Don't know how to do it. These are really pretty though. Era. Clear the era. Clear the era. My glue. Blender. Pink. I was just buying everything. This is a lip pencil. Gotta keep the lips brown like in this day and age what are we doing not making the lips brown why what are we doing not lining the lips they have to be lined every time each and every time actually so yeah that's a look and i'm not i'm not done with it yet we're gonna do that every single time Ooh, blackhead remover setting spray i was really clowning when did i buy it we got setting spray foundation i already got concealer we got new lashes lip line eyeshadow we can, like, we can do a full beat we going dumb. I even got makeup brushes. And guess what? We had a holiday party and did um Secret Santa. And I got a, a makeup bag. So you know what? It's all meant to be. Est Istanbul. Istanbul. They're kind of cute though, right? Then there's these. I already showed you Sydney. Then this is Harper. These are dramatic and I don't know if these are like really long. No, I need a feel too. That's a different story though. That's that though. That was the whole makeup thing from Shop Miss A. Everything on there is a dollar if y'all didn't know. A dollar or um like a dollar eighty eight. I'm not gatekeeping this company. I found out by a YouTuber too, so it's whatever. Y'all I'm not done. You know what? I'm about to do another little thing of gifts I got for my birthday. First of all, a dream catcher. Not only is it a dream catcher, it's pink! It's pink. And I need to find somewhere to put this up at. But yeah, then I got a candle. And as you can see, it's pink. It, it do a little ombre. And it's vanilla and peach tea. I don't know if I smelled it. This smells... I'm literally a candle girl. And also, I love getting gifts like this because obviously my favorite color is pink. But this is the second candle I've received that's pink. But yeah, this is the makeup bag I was telling you about. Look at it. Fuzzy. Pink. Things you think of when you think of me. I love it here. These will be my first colorful candles besides pink. Mango and sparkling citrus. I like it. Candle girl. I like these containers and I will reuse these. Starby. So today's Thursday. We started this yesterday. I'm about to just give y'all like the life of a RA because that's what vibes I'm getting from this because I didn't realize like obviously I came back for RA stuff. So why isn't this an RA video? So we're just about to start doing RA things. I have to do a bulletin board and I have to do my new door decks for all my residents. So door decorations, by the way, that's what that means. And then, um, yeah, my bulletin board. I'm gonna show you what it looks like before and after basically. I'm gonna show y'all like how I get the ideas, the whole shebang, because this is not like a short thing. And um, this will motivate me to do it if I film it. So we're gonna do that. So for our theme this month is allyship and it's like how to be an ally basically um and like social justice in the workplace so that's what the board's supposed to consist of um i'll let y'all know how that goes in the meantime we have to also do new door decorations i asked my residents before break what their favorite color was and i told them to send it in the group me because i wanted to do um crocs so i love crocs obviously i'm a croc girl croc queen and i did among us for the beginning of the year and everybody has like their own like 
cute little stuff, like the little flowers on the people. Everybody has their own color, you know, just different things like to characterize them. So I think with the Crocs, I can just give everybody their favorite color and it might be a little easier. Like almost every Among Us was different. Plus all their names are different. It took me so long to make those. But yeah, hopefully that goes good. Let y'all know how that goes. <laughs> It's really rough. Um, I was rushing on it, but that's what I did for holidays and before we left. Don't judge me. But this one I like more. This was for our little pride thing we did. But yeah, this is what the boards be looking like. <sighs> Update. So I did, I don't know how many this is, but that's just who sent their favorite color in the group chat. Um, I probably have like 50 residents, so this is 30. So actually this is, I'm almost done now that I think about it. But um, yeah, so I probably only have like 20 more left to do and I probably will do those like tomorrow because I'm just gonna have to guess their favorite color. But um, we have a meeting at 9 a.m. tomorrow, so it's 7.55 and I'm literally tired. So I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night and I will get back to y'all tomorrow. Hello, I look tired, but it's like two o'clock, 2.30 even on uh, Friday. And so now we're done with training. We had our meetings this morning on Zoom and then we just went to another one at 1.30 in person. And we signed our lives away. Basically, um, we signed up for our duty shifts, which are like every, every week on the same day. Like you just do rounds every, on that day every week and it's like you pick a day sunday through wednesday my day is tuesday i used to have monday last semester two days are gonna be so rough for me and i'm not excited one bit but um so we did that and then we also did our power weekends which is when we work from thursday to saturday and that's when you do rounds like every night from thursday to saturday and you're like on call after the desk closed and stuff so like after hours anybody can call emergency stuff like that um, I have four weekends like that and I have one day, four weekends in a day where I have to do that. Also, Wes gave us, he made a door decks for us. And so this is what his look like. I think the hardest thing or like one of the hardest things about the RA part is like when I first, when we first signed our lives away, the first time I was so stressed out. Like I did not understand. I was like, what do you mean? Like, like I have to work weekends. I have to work every week on the same day we had desk shifts to do our desk shift got taken away not taken away but we don't have to do those anymore so i'm happy about that but like i was just so stressed out like why do we have to work so much like it's too much work like i don't know if i can do this but now it's like a little less a little less stressful i'm just not gonna complain whatever i'm gonna just get the job done but yeah um i'm about to get dressed because i have to go finally re-up like i don't have any water barely got snacks barely got i don't even have noodles like you know, I need to go shopping and then I need to go to the store and I'm trying to get my nails done. So, but that's besides the RA stuff. This is just like my life plus RA stuff. But yeah, um, I'll update y'all later. Also, I keep thinking of stuff to say, but um, another thing is like staff meetings. We have staff meetings every week. Um, ours are at 6.15 on Tuesdays. As you can see, I'm going to hate Tuesdays once again. But um, then we also have one-on-one -on -one meetings, which we meet with like one of our higher ups, like supervisors, basically, and that's every week on the same day. Also, mine is at three p.m. on Tuesdays. So yeah, what a life I have. Um, it's actually not like a lot, a lot of work, but it's just meetings and curriculum, and you know, it's it's just an interesting job because you live like you have an in house job like you know you you live at your job so it's kind of hard to clock in and clock out in your head because it's like you're, you're always working technically because if somebody knocks on your door somebody asks you a question like that's you're working like you're doing your job you're not just whatever um another thing my supervisor said nice little quote if you will she said she would rather or you sh you should rather like hate one day of the week and like do everything that you hate on that day, like everything you don't like on that one day, rather than having it spread out like, oh, I hate Mondays because it's Monday. And then I hate Tuesdays because I have meetings. I hate Wednesdays because I have this class. No, just hate everything on that one day. So Tuesdays, I'm gonna hate it. I have the hardest classes. 
I had the most stuff to do, the most meetings, all the meetings actually. I'm on duty. Like, Tuesdays are going to kill me. But I'd rather it be that than Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday. You know? So, there's that. Hey, y'all. So, um, I'm on my way to the nail shop to see if they can like do a walk-in. It occurred to me, first of all, this lighting is great. But it occurred to me that I've never had a feel before. Never. Never got a feel. But I got my nose done. But I've been like spending so much money. Like, here, but basically, y'all missed it. Oh, Aww. I got my fill or whatever. Little, um, I filmed a little bit in there, but I didn't film the end. So I kind of got there when they were about the really good. Over there about the clothes. Last time well, I got time I got these stuff. But so, this coffee was like he had me under for him to have been in a rush. The shape is shaping and the things. Things. I was like, okay. Ooh, like I haven't even I started my Doordex, but I didn't like put them on contact paper. This haven't even cut time. them out, print them um, out. Nothing. Haven't even done my bulletin board. That's supposed to be due on Monday. So for me to have a self care day on Sunday, I'm gonna have to get this stuff done like today tonight slash tomorrow so i'll do though you know we'll, we'll get it done so so as i'm sitting here looking at like how i'm gonna do this bulletin board i'm literally i usually go for the bare minimum i'm just like on this website and i'm literally gonna print this out print out also this stuff is all about allies too like what is allyship Blah, blah 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 basically printing this out and and cutting it and putting it on there that's the bare minimum i keep calling a resource room but it's like a student government room basically with like all like bulletin board paper and you can see like what's in each cabinet Borders, paper, other stuff, utensils and whatnot. Big stencils and small ones. I don't know where the small ones are, but they should be in here somewhere. Okay, so here are the big ones. Here are the small ones. I think I'm gonna do the small ones because they're just easier. Contact papers in here. So I'm gonna just take like a whole roll of contact paper and take that upstairs with me and i'll show y'all how that goes i might do, do like an example down here just to show y'all y'all it's like 2 30 in the morning what mm -hmm. y'all saw yeah well, i'm gonna go to bed in washington so um long. sunday to have like a little self-care day so i'm not I doing it. no work that's and why i turn my name tags um my door decks are all printed out i'm just gonna cut them out when i have the time I'm about to stress about that it will get done um, um but you know like on the final, final product
put in a, another like video it. or something but um thanks for watching this video also don't forget to follow my other socials to keep up with me outside of youtube that's it been your favorite bad bitch turned the whole world into a savage middle finger all of my bitches just to remind y'all i ain't having it